three ways we blew it. First of all, Bush says that the threat is global. In other words, we have to go after every terrorist organization on the planet. And furthermore, he says that states like Iraq, Iran, Syria, this is the famous or infamous axis of evil, those states, what are sometimes called rogue states, are inextricably linked or tied to terrorist groups like Al-Qaeda. So Bush says, not only do we have to take out every terrorist group on the planet, we've got to take out rogue states too, because they're joined at the hip with these terrorist organizations. This is crazy. First of all, there are terrorist groups all over the planet. Beating them is very difficult, as we've discovered with Al-Qaeda. It can be done, but it's very difficult. The idea that you're going to take on all of these terrorist groups at once is really asking for trouble. Furthermore, the idea that states like Iraq, Iran, and Syria are friendly with Al-Qaeda is simply wrong. Iran helped us defeat the Taliban in Afghanistan in the fall of 2001. Syria, as Seymour Hersh has documented in The New Yorker, played a key role in cooperating with us to defeat some terrorist attacks after September 11th. And there was no evidence, despite prodigious efforts by the Bush administration to show otherwise, that Saddam and Osama bin Laden were linked at the hip. In fact, they didn't like each other at all. So the idea that we had to take out rogue states because they were joined at the hip with terrorist groups like Al-Qaeda was simply wrong. In fact, they would have been important allies in that fight. And again, the last thing you wanted to do was take on terrorist groups that didn't have their gun sights on you. That's one 